Make sure you park on a flat surface. If you must park on an incline, chalk the wheels. Park in a safe place that is well away from fire equipment. Doorways or access ways that may need to be used in an emergency. Refueling sites. Blind corners. First aid stations. Or within two metres to the rail of a rail track. Place the forklift in the appropriate gear, as per your operator's manual. Apply the park brake. Tilt the forks slightly forward so they are resting on the ground. Turn the ignition off and remove the ignition key to prevent unauthorised use. If you're using LPG, turn it off to avoid leaks. If you're using an electric forklift, when parking at the end of your shift, connect the battery to a charger if required. Complete post-operational checks to detect any damage, leaks or faults. Report any faults immediately to your supervisor so they can be repaired. Only authorised and fully trained persons should refuel LPG forklifts. Turn off the forklift and remove the key, as running the engine may ignite the LPG fumes. Read the safety instructions. Put on the required protective equipment, including leather gloves, to prevent cold burns. Do not smoke within the immediate area and do not use your mobile phone in the immediate area. Fill the bottle, following the safety instructions. After filling, check for leaks using soapy water. If you detect a leak, isolate it if possible, tag the forklift and report the situation to your supervisor. Park the forklift near the battery charger. To avoid the build-up of fumes and risk of explosion, this should be in a well-ventilated area. Turn the key off and remove it to prevent unauthorised use and do not smoke near the charging area. Open the battery compartment so the gases can escape whilst charging. Connect the correct charger as an incorrect charger will damage the battery. Turn the charger on and ensure it starts correctly. A charge cycle will take 8 to 12 hours, depending on the type of charger used. Always let the charge cycle complete, otherwise battery damage can occur. Don't try to opportunity charge by charging for an hour or two, as quick top-ups shorten the life of the battery. After the battery is fully charged, put on the required protective equipment. Then turn off the charger and disconnect it, checking the cables for any damage. After charging, use distilled water to top up the battery. Close the compartment, making sure the locking device is fully engaged. Please note, regulations in relation to attachments fitted to forklifts vary throughout Australia. Please consult the regulatory authority in your state or territory for the exact requirements relating to using attachments. Before using any attachment on a forklift, you must check if it is the correct attachment for the forklift and load to be lifted. The rating plate on the forklift must show a rating for the attachment to be used.
when using a jib attachment, make sure it's correctly fitted and rated. The locking pins must be in to secure the jib. The lifting hook must be securely attached and able to swivel. The chains must have a tag attached indicating their rated capacity. Synthetic slings are colour coded to Australian standards and also have a ratings label attached. Check the slings before use for damage or wear. The different safe working loads must be clearly marked at different lifting positions. Notice that the further out the lift, the less your safe working load becomes. When lifting a load, always have the lifting hook directly above the load to prevent it from swinging and causing instability. The shackle on the lifting hook should be secured to prevent it unscrewing. Only use backward tilt while working with a jib attachment. Never use a forward tilt. Travel slowly. In particular, make all your turns very slow to avoid instability. Keep the load as low as possible. Please note, the use of a work platform shall be limited to those situations where it is necessary to elevate personnel to perform special tasks of short duration and where it is not possible to use a scaffold. The operator and person to be lifted are to complete daily inspection of both the forklift and the work platform. The capacity of the counterbalance forklift must be a minimum 1,800 kilogram safe working load to full lift. A reach truck safe working load is reduced to 1,200 kilograms. Check that the locking pins are in place. Make sure that all controls other than lifting and lowering are immobilised. The operator must stay at the controls at all times. When lifting someone in a cage, travel controls are to be in neutral and the park brake applied. The operator is to keep hands and feet clear of controls other than those in use. The operator is to keep clear of overhead obstructions, especially electrical conductors. The spike must have an approved capacity. The plate on the forklift must be stamped. Bear in mind that the long load centre distance will reduce the forklift's capacity. Make all turns slowly and drive extremely carefully around other people and never lift loads over their heads. Ensure the clamp is correctly fitted and rated. The hydraulic valve lockout is to be fitted to the forklift to prevent accidental opening and dropping of rolls. Different sizes of paper rolls will change the load centre distribution. If you're unsure, carry a tape measure to check you're not overloaded. Always carry paper rolls vertically and do not rotate when travelling. Ensure the rating is marked on the load plate of the forklift. The total length of the slippers is to be no longer than 1.5 times the length of the fork tines. Pins must be fitted to prevent slippers falling off. Due to the extended length, more working room is needed and therefore turns should be made slowly. We hope you've enjoyed this video. 
and that it has assisted you in understanding all the necessary fundamentals to drive your forklift competently and safely. Please remember that no matter which forklift model you're operating, it's important to also read and fully understand the operator's manual before driving. Whilst we trust you've found this video useful, it is not intended to replace any written material. Thank you for your attention and safe driving.